We have the carriage here. Um, I've used a needle skater on it. As you can see, I've painted a little bit of it. Uh, before I realized I had to use the needle scaler up here, for example, it was very thick layers of old paint. And I used the needle scaler here and around here and there, but not on the back side here because that's a mating surface to the um, taper attachment. And obviously, not on the waist. Now it's time for a primer. I'm only going to use uh, maybe two layers of primer on this part because up here there is no point in using spackle and, or something like that because the paint is going to ship there anyway when you put tools on top of it. All the things here are... I didn't make those. <laughs> well. We'll get to putting the primer on now and see how it looks. And I have one more part here. It's for the apron carriage hand wheel. Use the needle scaler on that too. Just going to hit it a little bit with sandpaper and then I'll put primer on it. At the same time as the carriage here. Primer is on now. Uh, one really thick coat or two thin ones, maybe. I think it turned out okay. I hope I don't have to put on any more primer than this. Considered putting primer and paint in that uh, groove for this uh, lead screw, too, or lead screw, yeah, whatever for the screw. and. Um, I decided not to. It's easy to clean in there when it's bare metal and it won't rust. I'll get back to this piece when it's ready for painting. Here we have some name plates. The black one is going on the headstock. The little uh, one is going uh, behind the headstock or on the bed underneath the headstock rather to cover up uh, the hole for the lifting of the bed or the light. These two are going on the bed too. I have no idea what color to paint them. The idea right now is to paint them black and to sand back the letter so they will basically come out as the American badge. Good ideas for other paint choices are welcome. Now it's time for some needle scaling. We exchanged gear boxes at Pret. Yesterday I fixed the day dent on this uh, gear shift lever here. Now it's nice and positive. Let's get to it.
needle scanning is done. It doesn't take very long really. Might be worried that stuff got into the gears and bearings there and uh, surely something did but um, I'll have to clean it all out anyway so it doesn't really matter. I wondered if I should needle scale this part here because it looked kind of... Yeah, sometimes it's easier not to but I'm glad I did because the metal underneath is really smooth. So. Now for a little bit of sanding and it's ready for primer. Here's the apron. I was just going to paint it. Obviously put on primer first. Then I took out some screws to clean them up a little bit. This one here for example went fine. That one. Trying to take it out. Mm, it loosened very easily. Then I noticed that um, somebody had in, been here in the had been in there before and um, broke the screw off. Just put the head back in and painted over it to make it stick. That's the same story with uh, <coughs> this one and that one. So I have three broken screws, so <clears throat> the front of the apron has to come off. I've taken off uh, one of the clutches already, but it's full of oil, so I'm going to put on a, another coat of primer before I take off the second one. To, so I don't uh, get so much oil in the speckle here. I'll get back to you soon. We got it all apart now. It's not that difficult. I started cleaning in the sump here. Got uh, one part of the sump clean. The other one is still left. Here are the bolts. Five of them, or six since I lost one in the vacuum cleaner. Came out easily. Those three, those had normal slotted heads on them. That they seem like they're made of butter or I don't know anything softer. So it was not possible to get them out with the slot so I just welded on some nuts. Easy enough with those three. This one stuck out after I took off the cover. Uh, same with this one. Or no, that one stuck out, but this one was actually broken out, broken off inside the hole, but not far enough inside. So I could weld a nut to that one too. I think I'll replace all of these bolts here. So have a look see at the oiling system of the American pacemaker <coughs> apron. If I turn the handwheel or the shaft for the handwheel here. You can see the pumps working there. And the oil comes up here. Well, after I've cleaned the sump out here, I'll get back to what I was doing, painting. Good thing is that uh, this front part will be much easier to paint now that I've taken everything apart. Nothing to worry about except um, oil gauge down there, but I taped over that, so we'll see. This is the back side of the apron cover. It's a little bit of sludge here, which you will never get out if you don't. To simply drain the apron with the normal plugs. And one of the filters has been very close to this sludge, so I'll clean it out.